eye catchers welcome back to my channel for any of you who are new hi i'm ivy welcome to i davenport where i share all things beauty style and confidence today we're going to do a little bit of a different video i'm going to share my five best practice tips on how to plan and stretch out your content so let's get into those tips now tip number one is to create an outline of the photos videos or blog posts that you want to create that day for example I like to shoot my content on the weekends. I work a full nine to five job. I'm a wife, I'm a dog mom, I have other things to do. So I have to figure out a way to shoot a lot of content in a little bit of time. So that way I create an outline of what I want to film a video about, what looks I want to shoot and have those ready to go and prepped so that I can get through as much as I can in one day. With this outline, you may want to have a quick blurb of what you want to say in each video. For me, it's easier to just talk off the cuff, but if creating an outline of what you want to say helps, I completely agree with that. That helps you to use your time more efficiently and have as much videos and photos created in one day. It's called batch content planning, and I love it. It's how I get videos out, and then I'll just post those throughout the week. Tip number two is an absolute game changer. It is to wear a neutral makeup look on the days that you are shooting. I have on this current makeup look that you'll see in my effortless and natural makeup look video that I'll link above. And this has been my go-to because I shoot many videos in one day. So the easiest way for it to look like your video was shot multiple different times or in real time is to have a neutral makeup look and just change your lip color or change your shirt and your jewelry and it looks like your video is completely new and completely redone. You can even change your background if you're into that and it's super simple. So a neutral makeup look goes with anything, any video and you're ready to go. Tip number three is all about stretching your content. I saw this tip as another blogger did on her video and I thought it was genius. She had her tripod sitting with her camera in one corner and then another tripod with her phone on the, in the other corner. And she was able to record the same content with two different angles with two different devices. And that was just mind blowing and I've used that tip ever since. So for example, if you see a reel on my Instagram, which make sure you follow me at iDavenport, it will be linked below. I want to be friends with you guys so please follow me i love chatting with you guys in the comments and dms so definitely follow me there but when you see a reel on my instagram i honestly have taken that reel and recorded it on my iphone while i was recording a youtube video with my camera and that way i'm using my time even more efficiently and i'm getting two different videos for the price of one and I'm able to stretch that same content longer. Because for any of you guys who do this, you know how hard it is to plan and record and edit a video. It takes a lot. Um, I do this all myself with the help of my husband, but I edit everything. I'm the one creating the looks and the content, and it is a lot at times, especially when you work a nine to five on top of it, and you're doing something that you love, but it's time consuming. So you gotta make sure that you use it well. And recording at the same time with two different devices has been a game changer. That's probably like the biggest tip I can give you in this video. Try to get two different devices if you can and use them. You could use your iPad and then your iPhone, your camera from your computer and a phone, whatever you have. Try to use two different devices and stretch that content out. That way you're able to post the same content multiple times throughout the month or the week. I'm telling you, it's perfect. All the tripods and camera equipment that I use will be linked in the description as well. Number four, to make your content go longer, share your content across multiple platforms. And I will break those down in a few steps. So you want to have a main hub for your content. For usually most people, it's Instagram. That's where usually most people can find you. For me, that's where I have the most followers and grow and get the most engagement. But to share my content to other audiences. I will post the same post on Instagram to Facebook, on my Facebook page at I Davenport, and I reach my Facebook audience there. And that way they're able to click my content just as easy. Facebook makes it really simple. We're on a photo, you can click a link and you go straight to my video or my like to know it page. And that way I'm getting more eyes on my content, but I still have my main hub of where you can always find me on Instagram or even how my Instagram posts correspond with my YouTube videos. You can find it on Instagram, but if you want more information and you want me to expound more, click on my YouTube link. So that way, share your content across multiple social platforms. And that way, everybody gets a little taste of what you've got going on. I will give you a tip. Pinterest is a great 
platform. It is very slept on, but I get a ton of views on Pinterest. I think I'm at like 9,000 monthly views, um, which is great because Pinterest is so simple just to post your photo and it embeds a link in your photo. People can click that link and it will go to your video, whatever you've linked it to. Use Pinterest, y'all. Don't sleep on it. Tip number five is to create a posting schedule. So you've created all this wonderful content and you did it in a batch content planning way where you did all those videos at once. Now you got to figure out how to post it. Create a schedule. This can be done on your calendar app, in your phone, in your notes section, or you can use an actual app. I like to use the app Later. Later is an app that allows you to auto publish to Instagram. And what's really cool is you can embed a link to the picture. And that way, if somebody clicks that picture, it takes them to the link you embedded. For example, if you go to my Instagram right now, you can click the link in my bio and it will bring up my feed. If you click one of the pictures from my feed, it will direct you to either a YouTube video or my like to know it page. That's how I have it set up. It's awesome. I think that that's the easiest way for someone to get my content. Since I don't have the 10,000 follower limit for the swipe up feature, that to me is the next best thing. And it will also auto publish to my Instagram if I choose that option, or you can set a notification reminder of what time you want to publish that post and it will send you a reminder that it's time to post. In addition to later, another feed app that I like to use is UNUM. And this allows for me to see how my feed will look when I add in a new picture before it's actually on my feed. I love you and you and if you're an aesthetic kind of person, you want your page to start looking a certain way, see if the filters you use goes with what's already on your page, then this lets you see that and move pictures around so you can get it how you want it before it's actually on your feed. I've also used Planoly as well and Hootsuite. Hootsuite allows for you to move photos before they're on your feed and it does auto publish to your feed as well. I believe you have to have a business account with all of these apps to actually do the auto publishing feature. Um, but it's a great time saver. Those are my five best practice tips on how to plan and stretch your content across your social platforms. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time there's a video on Davenport. Leave a comment if there's a tip that you love the most or if there's a tip that you think I should try. I really appreciate you guys so much for stopping by. And now let's jump into another video. See you over there.